Hello, my name is Warren Ruziak. I'm a senior technical evangelist with Atlassian. Today, I'm going to present a short demo of how to deploy a code change to a production environment using Atlassian Open DevOps. This video accompanies the Atlassian Open DevOps Quick Start Guides. And you can follow those guides to set up a similar environment um, as a sandbox where you can test this kind of software and get to know the tools and features available to you. We're going to get started and we're going to demonstrate how to push a change from the command line into our dev and uh, QA regions and then finally into our production regions using GitLab CI CD and the JIRA integration with GitLab. So to do that, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to JIRA here and we're going to create a new JIRA issue. That way we can track our work. Um, the thing to note here is the JIRA issue ID, IM15. This issue ID is used by the JIRA GitLab integration to track all of the work that's done. So we're going to use this in our branch names and in our commit messages so that the integration can link back all of the work that's been done um, to make this code change to this JIRA issue. Um, once we've got our JIRA issue ID, we're going to jump over to our code in our terminal and we're going to make minor change. So we take a look here. We are in a repository called submit image. And we are on the mainline branch. And we are up to date with what's in mainline. So the first thing we're going to do is check out a branch named IM15, which matches our JIRA issue ID. Then we're going to edit our code files. And we're going to just make a trivial change here for the purpose of this example. Then we use our standard Git workflow. We take our status. We're going to add our changes. We're going to do a commit. It's important to put <clears throat> this Jira issue ID in the commit message um, because, again, this is how uh, the Jira GitLab integration um, understands what work is being done for this particular issue. Now, if we take a look at our branches, we've got IM15 branch, and we've got a commit about IM15. So we're going to do a push. And this change is pushed to a new remote branch in GitLab. So if we jump over to GitLab now, we can see that we're on branch IM15, or that that branch exists. And we're going to jump over to our CICD and our pipeline. And we see that we have <clears throat> a pipeline running. So this pipeline has a few steps. First step it's going to do is run some unit tests. Um, this is running tests that have code that exists inside of our submit image repository. Uh, then it's going to deploy to our testing region, which is in US West 1. Then it's going to run integration tests um, against that region. If the integration tests pass, we're going to then deploy to our QA region, which is in US East 2, and then run integration tests in US East 2. Um, this package here, submit image, is part of a small uh, image classification service that lives in AWS. The service is deployed to five AWS regions. Um, there's a test or dev region in US West 1. There's a QA region set up in US East 2. And then we have three production deployments in US West 2, uh, US East 1, and CA Central 1. The integration tests that are run um, in these test steps exist in another repository. So during this step, we pull those um, tests down and execute them with our uh, Go command line. We're going to have to wait a little while for this pipeline to complete. And once it's done, we'll see some updates back in our JIRA. OK, our pipeline is finished. Now we can go take a look at our JIRA issue and see the updates that have been made because we linked the work done here with that JIRA issue. So we click back over to JIRA, and we drill into the issue. In this details panel over here, we're going to see some minor updates under the development tab. Specifically, there is a branch and a commit. So if we drill in, we see that under submit image repository, there's an IM15 branch now, which has one commit. We can go take a look at. There have been no pull requests. 
there's no builds um, that are registered as part of this and no deployments get registered as part of this integration. So let's close out of there. We'll go back to GitLab now and we're going to create a merge request. So at this point, our developer would have made some changes, um, deployed them to the dev, dev region and to the QA region, and knows that integration tests and unit tests are passing in those regions. So as far as the developer knows, the software works in the affected regions, and therefore the developer has some confidence that they can deploy this to production without causing any problems. So the developer is gonna open a pull request. It's gonna go to whoever is the approver for the merges to mainline, and that person's going to review it and approve. As we see, we've got a merge and it started a pipeline off for us. So if we go back to CICD pipelines, we're gonna see that there's another pipeline running. This time it's running against the mainline branch. And the shape of this pipeline is different. In this case, we're not running any of your unit tests. They've already been run, but we are deploying to three different regions, US West 2, US East 1, and CA Central 1. And we're running tests in all three regions. So even um, after we've successfully run our integration tests in our dev and our QA region, we still wanna run our integration tests in each production region. That way, um, if we do break something for some reason, maybe there's a weird one-off in a particular region, we can stop our deployment, not affect other regions, go look at it, figure out what happened. Um, so the pipeline will always halt at the first sign of a problem. So now we just have to wait for this pipeline to finish, and then we'll go take a look at the updates made to the JIRA issue. Okay, our pipeline is finished. So at this point, we've made a code change. We've deployed it through our dev and our QA region, and we've pushed out to our production regions. We've run our unit tests, and we've run integration tests in every region, and we haven't had to do anything. The automation took care of it for us. Uh, furthermore, um, we've updated our JIRA issue with all of the work we've done so that we can look at and see well, what's kind of what's happened with this. So if we go back to our Jira issue, we drill in, and now see we've had commits, pull requests, builds, et cetera. So we still have the IM15 branch, it's been merged. You could create a pull request from here if you wanted. See that there's been a couple commits, the merge as well as the original thing. We can take a look at the pull request, we can see who did it, we can see the status of the pull request, we can see a build happen. Again, no deployments in this integration. Okay, that concludes our demo for today. Uh, please read the Atlassian Quick Start Guides on Atlassian Open DevOps uh, so you can learn how to set up your own sandbox environment and get to know the tools and capabilities that we have here. Thank you.